Because in Britain, we don't spill tea, we drink it. Bitch! <laughs> petty. Most of these bitches is petty. Hi guys, what is up? What is good? What is Gucci? It is your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you hoes. Oh my god, thank you guys so much for all of your support on the last video. I was actually like somewhat semi nervous to release the video, but honestly the response from you guys has been absolutely awesome, so I really want to thank you guys. Maybe I finally moved past being cancelled, possibly, who knows? But I honestly expected the moment that I woke up the following morning to have received like the worst kind of hate mob on social media and surprisingly, I didn't. But that may have been because I have most of Twitter either blocked or muted. So that might be a me issue. Anyway, with that being said, today we are going to be talking about Jeffree Star. Uh, it's just a quick little rant video because I've got a few things to say about his most recent video that he just uploaded to his channel. If you aren't aware, Jeffree Star released a video literally a few minutes ago. <laughs> I jumped on this pretty quick called Saying Goodbye. And honestly, from the outset, I think a lot of people would have been under the impression that Jeffree star was either leaving youtube leaving the cosmetics industry or something huge was happening in terms of jeffree star and his place here on social media but basically the whole entire video was a massive clickbait in order to stir up emotions so if you don't want to check out jeffree star's video and want the too long didn't read this is that video for you so basically the be all and end all of the video is that jeffree star's videographer has now moved on and they're working elsewhere. Jeffree Star's assistant has now moved on and is working elsewhere. Forgive me if I'm crazy, but at what point? Like, who needs to know this? Like, I don't understand. Jeffree Star's videographer Chris was not a fundamental part of his channel. When I think of videographers who are fundamental parts of other people's channel, I think of people like Shane Dawson and Andrew and the dynamic that they had. Because we saw Andrew just as much as we saw Shane Dawson. So Andrew, by proxy of Shane Dawson, became pretty much an influencer within his own right. However, I am not a Jeffree Star stan, so I don't watch all of his videos or anything like that. So so I was under the impression we had never seen who this Chris guy is, but apparently we've seen him like once or twice in more recent videos. But then again, not enough times that the audience would have created a significant bond with this person and their departure would leave a massive hole to the people that watch Jeffree Star. The other interesting thing is, is that most of the video was about him talking about his videographer and the bond that they'd created, this person that literally nobody has ever really seen. And then he goes on to speak about his personal assistant, Madison, who had decided to leave him. Now the reasonings behind why she decided to leave Jeffree Star is honestly still unknown. I do believe Kat Tenbarge of The Insider was the person who broke this story first. I may be wrong, but that's the first place that I heard about it. And let's be honest, we all know that Jeffree Star at this point is watching The Insider and Kat Tenbarge like a hawk because she is breaking all of the hottest Jeffree Star tea. Anyway, in her article that was released on the 28th of December 2020, Kat Tenbarge reported that Jeffree Star unfollowed his longtime assistant and friend Madison, causing rampant fan speculation. Apparently, around the time that Madison had unfollowed Jeffree Star, she posted to her Instagram the following. Believe it or not, there isn't a single person that you need in this life more than yourself. Put her first. Now, the Insider article also alleges that Madison had unfollowed approximately approximately four days after the insider released their huge story that Jeffree Star was paying off ex assault victims that he himself had allegedly assaulted of $45,000. And the insider has the receipts. So a lot of people are thinking that possibly that Madison had saw the stories and thought to herself, this is too much corruption to even work with. Anyway, as of this moment, Madison is no longer working for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And on her LinkedIn profile, she has recently started a brand new job as a business operations coordinator for a company 
called Alphalet Cosmetics in Houston, Texas. Now in Jeffree Star's video, he was very quick to say that him and Madison don't have any beef and there's no drama going on between them and that she just wanted to move forward and move on with her career. A major change is Maddie Lynn, my dear, amazing personal assistant. Bitch, she's moved on. Um, she is ready for the next chapter of her life. She's in her 20s. She has a long, amazing life, uh, life to live. But um, I think people always think there's drama or something went wrong. And oh my God, Jeffrey has lost friends before online publicly, so there always must be something wrong. Um, but no, you guys, there isn't. I think when you're someone's personal assistant, you're literally living their life and that gets old. I think this was his way of directly addressing Kat Tembaj's insider article. However, even if Madison genuinely wanted to tell her side and speak up about that whole ordeal with the $45,000 payoffs, she couldn't because everybody knows that Jeffree Star has every member of staff, every person he ever comes into contact with, sign a non-disclosure agreement. Wait, anyway, I just thought it was extremely interesting how Jeffree Star focused more so on his videographer, somebody who he would have had like over to see him probably once, twice, or maybe three times a week versus his personal assistant who he had literally every single day who was quarantined alongside him. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I can't understand why it took him literally two minutes to come forward and tell everybody that his videographer had disappeared, which literally nobody knew about, versus taking him approximately two and a quarter months to tell us about the person who we literally spent every waking moment with. The math ain't mathing to me. Anyway, Jeffree Star then goes on to blame this for being the reason why he hasn't been able to produce and upload videos onto his YouTube channel. This is where I genuinely thought that Jeffree Star was about to tell us that he was no longer going to be making as many YouTube videos on his channel anymore unapologetically. Because to be honest, his proximity to being a YouTuber is probably what causes the most drama rather than him as a CEO and his cosmetics business. Anyway, Jeffree Star then goes on to state that he isn't going to be producing as many videos whilst he tries to find a new videographer because finding a videographer isn't as easy as one might think. And honestly, I left this video feeling like this is the biggest privilege video that I have ever heard in my whole entire life. Jeffree Star, what do you think the other YouTubers do when they don't have their film people? What do you think the other YouTubers do who can't afford to quarantine with their videographers? They sit their ass down in front of their setup, they film a video and send it to a remote editor. And even that is somewhat still privileged. These vlog style content videos that you have been pumping out recently isn't even what your core fan base really wants. They have been screaming out for the longest time for just reviews. There was once upon a time not long ago where Jeffree Star just did reviews and everybody waited to see if the latest launch would be Jeffree Star approved. I'm like, just admit that you have lost the passion for YouTube and go. Like, that that's how I feel. I'm just kind of like, if you've lost the passion, and it, don't get me wrong, it happens to everybody, but if you've lost the passion, then don't create content anymore. It really is as simple as that. If you need a whole orchestration to sit down and film a video, then that's on you, my dude. I was genuinely under the impression that Jeffree Star, as a smart businessman, might actually decide to remove himself from his brand. And what I mean from that isn't like taking the Jeffree Star out of Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but just taking himself out of it. He himself has become a public spectacle. If it isn't a drama video or something pertaining to some drama that he's involved with, he literally posts a new launch in between each drama. He is known for his drama and shilling of his products more so than he is known as a YouTuber and a makeup reviewer. But I thought he might have decided to, you know, change his route, do a P. Louise and decide to be the name of your brand, but not be the face of your brand. Do a Pat McGrath Cosmetics and have the name of the brand be you, but you not be the brand. There are plenty of notable people who have put their name on their brand, but aren't the main primary focus of their brand. Fenty Beauty is yet another one of them. So I thought that maybe he was making a smart decision and going that route. But now, 
he was trying to dispel rumors, cause controversy, cause drama, and I am pretty sure in a couple of weeks, even as aforementioned in this video, we should be expecting a brand new launch. I'm tired, you're tired, we're all tired. So, Jeffree Star saying goodbye, bitch, then leave. Anyway, that's about it from me. Thank you guys for hearing me out. This is just a quick little video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, if you don't, I don't give a shit. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification with the bell so that you guys get a notification every single time that Petty Page posts new content. Also, just to let you know, I do have my own little cosmetics brand, and that is www.dramaticboutique.com. On there, you can see all of my makeup and cosmetics. We are coming out with some new products soon, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that with that being said i hope you guys have an amazing day or evening whatever the f it is that you're doing right now and until next time guys it's been Paige. these bitches is petty